Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another edition of Toothpicks. I got a fun recipe for you guys today. I'm gonna to be doing some pulled pork stuffed mushrooms on a beefer. So stay tuned, I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it. Check out, I got my layout out here. I got all my ingredients sitting out on the cutting board. So I got some cream cheese. I left out of room temperature to soften up. My mushroom caps that I got on my beef or drip trays. I got some mozzarella. We're gonna be using that at the end. So I got some Parmesan, guys. We're gonna go ahead and mix that in. Pour that in right there. We got some sauteed garlic. And these are the stems to your mushroom caps that you took off. And I sauteed that right here in some old Kerrygold butter, or you can use regular butter or olive oil. Let's go ahead and pour that in, guys. Pour that in right there, it looks good, guys. And then, last but not least, as far as the, the hard ingredients go, I got some pulled pork I made the other day. It's got some of my homemade barbecue sauce. You can look at the link in that, I'll put it in the description, how to make that barbecue sauce, or use your own favorite. So we're gonna go ahead and pour that in there also. Get that all in there. And that's probably sitting at room temperature right now. You don't want nothing too hot. Just like the mushrooms, you want it to come up to room temperature. That way it won't over melt the um, cream cheese. And what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna add some secret seasonings. You can get this at your regular grocery store. It's got a little cayenne and hot seasoning. We're gonna make it a little spicy, not too much. And we're gonna post a slap your mama right up in here. Get a little season right here. You don't want it over salty, so you want to put a little bit in there like that. And just do it to your preference, really. I have some meat church, garlic, and herb seasoning, and I'm, this stuff is good, guys. We're going to put this all in here. And I put this also in the mushroom and garlic mixture, so I'm just adding a little more right here. And another thing we have, guys, I have some green onion, but that's going to top it off after I do it on the beefer with the cheese. So what you want to do now, you want to take your spoon that you have, and I already got a spoon in here, and we're going to mix this all up by, however you want to do it, just mix it all up. It doesn't matter if you get some out of here and get it dirty, just mixing this all up real good. All right, guys, so look, we already got one tray done, just to save time. And guys, I got this little cookie scooper I'm going to be using with the mixed up mixture right here. And we're going to be putting in these mushroom caps. And this is how you do this. This is why I like using this tool. Just go ahead and scoop it out. Press it down a little bit. Set it back on your tray. Go ahead and take your other one. We're going to get these all stuffed up. And we're going to take this thing out to the beaver and get it ready to go. So stay tuned. All right guys, so I have the pan that I was gonna use inside the beefer, and that's gonna use it as a drip pan because I noticed that I cannot fit that in the slots at the top. So I got them on the original beefer tray. So let's go ahead and put these in here. We're gonna slide them through the top. I'm gonna get as close as I can without burning it. And let's go ahead and put that in there. And guys, as you can see, this thing is gonna heat up really fast. It's about 1500 degrees. It's gonna really start sizzling. You're gonna see that flame start coming on and it's gonna, it's gonna char these up. Let's just see if we can see that. And this is trial and error, guys. Uh, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be good. I'm promise you it's gonna be good. Look at that flame, it's, it's starting to kick out. Looking real good. And as you see, some of it's starting to get brown at the top. I can see, I don't wanna burn these guys. Okay, so that looks pretty good. It doesn't take that long. And what I'll do with this, I'm gonna come out. All right, and I'm gonna set this at the bottom while that's cooking. And I'm gonna get my other beef tray. 
and we're going to do the same thing. So let's just get these put on here and then we'll come back once we get to the next step. All right guys, so what I've done, cooked the other rack. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna set these on top, actually, because the top is very hot. It's gonna cook, it's gonna cook, cook these things from the bottom. But at the same time, I had the other mushrooms down here. We're gonna take these, bring it out, take a look at them. And I want them to cook down a little bit. Just wanted to show you that. So what I'll do, since that's hot up there, I'm gonna go ahead and switch this. I know I wanted to put them at the top, but we're gonna switch. And it's hot down here also, and I want these to cook a little bit. So all this heat's coming out. It's gonna continue to cook all this. Then we're gonna add our green onions, then we're gonna add our cheese, and we'll retoast this. All right, guys, so these are the mushrooms I cooked first on the bottom. You see, I wanted the mushrooms to really cook, so I placed them on that bottom rack like I got the ones inside. But we got some other little tricks we're gonna add to this. And like I said, we, we come up with this at the last minute. And we're gonna place some green onions. And it, and it might not look as neat. We're gonna place a little green onions on here. We might get, you might be messy, guys. I'm gonna try this out right here. You know, barbecuing and cooking is all about experimentation. But this this stuff tastes good. I already tasted one. So put that on there. And we're gonna top it off with some of this mozzarella. And we're gonna put it back on that heat. And we want that mozzarella to cook real fast, guys. I wanted to get that just like it's just like it's a pizza. A little bit of cheese. And I don't care about it dripping on the other one. Get a little cheese everywhere. Save some cheese for the other stuff. So you go ahead and take this one. Get it picked back up. And like I said, it's gonna be messy, but that's okay. And we're gonna put this back on this rack right here. Uh oh, wrong slot. There we go. And we're gonna let that, we're gonna keep an eye on that one. Get a good look on those. Look how that, some of that cheese is already dripping to the bottom that I got on the rack. And I want this to melt, and I want it just like pizza, guys. And that mozzarella heats up fast and it's hot. It gets a little crust on it, a little char. And that flavor of that cheese really comes out. And there it is. I'm gonna keep an eye on it. And this is all about just timing, you know, filling it out, seeing what works best. And that's looking good, guys. Watch it just a little bit more, then I'm gonna take it out and, and give it a good look. Good. You can clean. That's why I have that drip pan on the bottom, guys. Let's go and take this out. Give it a look. See where we're going. And wow, that is picture perfect. Let's take this one out. We're gonna set this on top because it's hot up here on the top. And we're, we're, what I'll do, I got another drip tray, guys. No use of just having to over clean. I'm gonna place it on this drip tray right there. And we're gonna take the other ones. And we're gonna do the same. So I'll do the same to these guys, and we'll take this off, and I'll meet you inside, and let's see how these came out. All right, guys, so look at these stuffed mushrooms. These things came out looking delicious. I mean, look how that, Mozzarella just, you know, charred up right there, just like you would in a pizza. I bet some awesome flavors in that. And we're gonna go ahead and give these a try. I want my son to come over here and give them a try with me. This cheese right here is looking real good. Pick out one you want, Julian. All right, now look how that cheese, you don't have to pull it apart. So you can get it right there. Boom, pick all that up. Let's get him tasting it. All that. That's some pulled pork right there. Mushrooms. How's that? Don't lie about it. If it's nasty, you tell me. 
it's good, man. It's no, good. He's not even a real big mushroom fan. And I'm going to get mine. And this looks good. Look at all this. I got to get all the cheese that's coming up, guys. Somebody's going to be mad at me. I'm going to eat this. Just look at that. Pulled pork stuffed mushrooms. Oh, got to get a taste. Mmm. Oh, my God. Mmm. That's good. You wash it down with you a cold beer. Look good. And of course, you know, I had to get some steak, pair these up, make some steaks while I was out there. Good little hors d'oeuvre for a party. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Try this at home. Other ways you can do it before I get out of here. Guys, you can do this in your broiler. Probably not as hot as the beefer, or you have a searing machine or something, you can do it in here, but this beefer, I mean, the heat that it puts off, made this come off real good. So, till next time, guys. Subscribe, like, share this video. Toothpick. Here's the layout. I got all my ingredients sitting here on my cutting board. I got some cream cheese, softened, left out at room temperature. I have some mushrooms sitting in my beef or dread pad. What's wrong with I can't talk. <laughs> Do you want to talk? One, two, and good. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another edition of Toothpicks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you just got excited really, really fast. Okay. Okay, okay right. ready and go. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another edition of Two Things. We got a fun recipe for you guys today. I am going to be doing some pulled pork. <laughs> All right, here we go. Those are the outtakes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and wait, hold on. I feel like my angle's off. And. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another edition of Toothpicks. Today we're gonna to be doing a fun recipe. We're gonna do, oh God. Bruce, come on now, my arm hurt. Okay. Okay, you ready? <laughs> yes. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another edition of Toothpicks. I got a fun recipe for you guys today. I'm gonna to be doing some full pork stuffed mushrooms. So stay tuned, I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna enjoy it. You got your finger point. Your finger point, you know we did finger point. Just, I mean, just do it right now, just bam, finger point. <laughs> 